Hey, what's going on? Chad here, a.k.a. Rational Responder. Uh, killing two birds with one stone. Trying out the compatibility right now of my iPhone. Seeing how, uh, how well it will upload, what the quality will be like. We'll find that out in just a little bit. And I also want to give you guys a tactic, a tool, for when somebody challenges you with what we'll call the problem of um, miracles out on the street. Alright, so as we get into this, I want you guys to remember this. The one... Two, switcheroo. All right, sounds a little funny right now, but it's gonna make sense. This is gonna be quick. Okay, so on the street, somebody will challenge you with something like this. Do you really believe that Jesus died and rose again from the dead? I just don't see people raising from the dead. I think that's crazy. Or they'll bring up Jonah and the being swallowed by a fish. Do you really believe that a man could be swallowed by a fish and come out alive three days later? Uh, so here's the one, all right? You basically take their feet right out from underneath them on this one. You take a lot away from them on this. You say, hey, bro, I agree with you 100% that it is absolutely absurd. If we're talking about a man raising from the dead or a man being swallowed by the belly of a fish and coming out alive on naturalistic terms... I just don't see people raising from the dead. I think it's crazy. I'm shoulder to shoulder with you. I am a skeptic. But here's the thing. And here's the two. The two is that's never been the argument that the Christian has put forward. You're misrepresenting Christianity in that question. You're presupposing that there is no God, which is simply a misrepresentation. The traditional argument has always been that God raised Jesus from the dead, that the supernatural was involved when Jonah survived in the belly of the fish. The switcheroo, remember the one? All right, you agree with them, take a lot away from them by saying that you agree that this is just absurd if it's naturalistic terms. The two, but this has never been the traditional argument of Christianity. The traditional argument has always been that a God has been involved. And number three, the switcheroo. This is how you switch it back on them, all right? You say, now, can you please give me a reason why God, creator of all things, of the heavens of the earth, would not be able to manipulate his creation if he wanted to? Can you please give me a reason why God, the creator of all things, would not be able to manipulate his creation if he wanted to raise a man from the dead or have a man survive in the belly of a fish? Why would he not be able to do that? I can tell you guys right now, they're not going to come up with any good reason, okay? Because we're talking about God being creator right now, all right? So obviously, they're going to jump back and they're going to say, well, I, I don't believe in God. Well, here's the point. When they challenge you with Jesus be rising from the dead or Jonah being in the belly of the fish, when they challenge you with this and they don't bring God into the equation, then they're misrepresenting what the argument has always been. All right, so you just simply point that out, um, and then your your conversation obviously you know it's probably going to switch around from there. So remember the one, two, switcheroo. Number one, you take a lot away from them by saying you agree. If we're talking about a man raising from the dead naturalistically, that that's crazy. Number two, you point out, but that's never been the argument of Christianity. It's always been that a god has been involved in the switcheroo. Uh, now, can you please give me a reason why God, creator of all things, would not be able to manipulate his creation if he wanted to. I'm dumbfounded by what they would say next. I've challenged a lot of people with that, and uh, they just, they evade. They run somewhere else. They try and change the argument, or they try and turn it into a thing of, well, I just don't believe God exists. Okay, well, you misrepresented what the traditional view of Christianity is. Uh, if you want to challenge Christianity, please at least, you know, represent it properly when you pose your question. When we're talking about Jesus rising from the dead, the argument has always been that God rose Christ from the dead. So, hope this helps you out. The one, two, switcheroo, we'll call it. We'll upload this from uh, the iPhone now, see how it turns out. Uh, love you guys. God bless. Uh, remember to throw your comments uh, in the comment section. If you have a tactic that you think works better, um, or you can sharpen this up a little bit, dude, do it, all right? Make a video response, whatever. This is all about you folks, all right? So take care. God bless. This is Chad, a.k.a. Rational Responder, bringing you the one-two switcheroo. Bye.